Hey, Crucible Arms here. A lot of people have been asking for an update on the IWI Tavor that I bought a little over two years ago. I've got a lot of rounds through it now and I've done a couple of upgrades that I want to make you aware of. So one of the things I did is I added a Midwest Industries riser. It brings the EOTech up just a little bit and really helps with the cheek weld. It used to be that you had to really get down on this in order to pick up the red dot. And this lifts it just enough that it puts your cheek weld right where it needs to be. It's much more comfortable for me. The other thing I've done, and I'll annotate the original video, but I did put a Geisley Super Saber trigger pack in it. Initially, I had some issues with light primer strikes. And when I ended up calling Geisley, sent it back into them, found out that I did have the initial release that had some housing problems and they had since upgraded that. Have put that back in, it works perfectly. Geisley was very, very good working with me and getting it back to me quickly, and I've had zero issues with it ever since. It's a tremendous two-stage trigger. The only thing I'm missing right now is they do have a, I believe they call it a lightning bow trigger, and this still has the stock trigger in it. As Soon as that becomes widely available, I'll be putting that in as well. The other thing I added was a Galloway Precision brass deflector. And that's all for my son, the cameraman here, Newser Dude. He's a lefty, and the original deflector would really ping you pretty hard right in the cheek. This one takes a lot of that away. It's not perfect. He's still gotten zinged a couple of times, but it's definitely an improvement over the original. Since its U.S. debut two years ago, the Tavor has quickly become the bullpup standard here, and for good reason. I've run thousands of rounds through this rifle, and it has proven to be extraordinarily reliable. It really shines in urban tactic training settings I've participated in, including Team CQB and room clearing operations. The compact design is ideal for tight settings, but its accuracy is stellar at range as well. The operation of the Tavor takes a little getting used to as it's fairly unique. However, with a little practice, it does become second nature. The recoil and muzzle rise is minimal with the addition of the Michelic muzzle brake, making the Tabor an extremely manageable weapon system. All the things that I loved about the Tavor or wanted to love about the Tavor when I first got it have all come to fruition. I absolutely love this rifle. I love the fact that you've got a 16 inch barrel in a short package like this. The weight is distributed towards the back, so it makes the front end very maneuverable. I still think for the money right now, this is hands down the best bullpup in the market. There are a number of accessories available for the Tavor from aftermarket companies as well as IWI themselves, including a 9mm conversion package, as well as a left hand conversion kit. So there you have it, my two-year update on the IWI Tavor. I will annotate the original review that I did on the rifle as well as the review that I did on the Super Sabre trigger. I want to thank you again for supporting my channel. If you like the video, please like it, please put a comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me at www.facebook.com forward slash crucible arms. Till we see each other next time, thanks for stopping by.